Welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. We're doing it again. Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Some people dream of great salvage, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. I'm just giving myself a quick refresher here. Plus, I just love this little banger. Mr. Harbringer. 21 months. Welcome back. Thank you for the resubscription. Appreciate it. Oh, we got to take our quick little peek out the window, too, of course. Very important. We return once more to the majesty of space. Back to the yard. I think I'm just now realizing that that is actually what this is. Right? It must be. The design is far too similar. I'm so silly. Can't believe I never noticed that. All right, here we go. Now, left this one off with a level left to go, but uh, I think I'm more interested in finding this ion coil, to be honest with you. I'm very curious what's going to happen when we complete all the levels of the ship doctor thing. So let's see if we can find one. And it looks like this, uh, the Nilsen might be a good way to go. Got the ion coil on board, along with nine levels of possible salvage. 31 mil. Pretty good, pretty good. Seems like a solid option. Probably just going to consider the ones with ion coils on board. And uh, there may not be that many options. We got the Allen. Allen! Allen! I might take that, actually. I don't know. This one looks kind of fun, too. They're very similar. 34 mil here with another ion coil. The Caustic Freddy. Heavy cargo gecko. Eh, probably not that one. Probably not that one. All right, so we got a few options here. I think I'll probably go with the Nilsen. Let's go in with that bare belly again. Nothing wrong with going with the gut. Let's take the Nilsen out for a spin. Slash salvage. Hello? What are you doing? Coming to say hello again. Oh, she has been so friendly lately. That's a taffy. How's it going? Oh, you are so cute. You gonna come hang out with us? You gonna lay in your bed? Cause you're a good girl. Good job. Oh, we got a taffy co-pilot. Ugh. Yeah, that's a good angle. I like that. What breed she is, I think 100% dachshund. Just like our chubs. Now chubs and taffy are two wieners. They are wonderful. Yeah, she's, she's a sweetheart. She's very cuddly. It's her favorite thing to do. She'll do it all day long is just lay in the bed and cuddle with her mama. She is a big sweetheart. There's always a small part of me that's worried that one of these sensor towers or antenna is going to be just connected directly into this structural part of the ship instead of these like separate holster things they always have. I'm just going to pop open a hole in the ship immediately, which I suppose honestly probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It'd probably just be a less than optimal depressurization. These are a lot of level three cut points, aren't they? Ooh, there goes the rift again. <laughs> that is so cool. Man. Okay. Oh, hold on. Now we can get these. Yeah, I thought these were a higher grade for some reason. This is fun. Nice little outer shell. Do, do, we do have a taffy cam pup. I gotta work on that angle, actually. Hold on. 
I'm gonna get this tethered into the processor real quick for us here. Let me see if I can get a, a better Java Taffy cam going on here. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. I couldn't even see the screen while I was doing that. Perfect. There we go. Did this separate? There you are. Indeed it did. And off you go. All right. These are also grade one cut points. I did not expect that. Suppose we might as well get started here. This is going to take a little more effort, isn't it? Solar battery. That's fun. I'm assuming removing this isn't going to mess with the... Uh, electronic components in the interior. But you know what they, well, you know what they say about assuming, especially out here in the yard, that uh, that it's good to do to be able to save time and make your work Welcome more efficient. Eerie Lights. Thanks for the prime. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Get some bear hugs for him if you could. Welcome into the pile. Appreciate the support. Communications array is going to have these tiny little connections. This is a cool ship. This has some unique stuff going on that I haven't seen a lot. Yeah, I was going to say, that sounds like a how quote, doesn't it? <laughs> 100%. Appreciate that support, Eerie. Thank you. Oh, we got more cut points for you, don't you? Yes, you do. Do, 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 do. This is reminding me of a very important lesson we learned last time about the proximity of our cut to the uh, to the ECU. I'm gonna be a lot more careful about that now. I thought the camera was frozen for a second, but no, she's just staring at me like that. It has been for a while. <laughs> yeah, you're doing okay. Okay. Yeah, no, she's a, she's a biter and a scratcher. She's got some skin conditions going on, unfortunately. We got her from a hoarder situation, and she was not in the best of shape when we picked her up, but we have been taking her to a dermatologist, getting her to the vet and getting the right kind of treatment, hopefully going here, and she's been getting better. It was a lot worse, but yeah, she is pretty itchy a lot of the time and she's gone apparently so that was fun yeah we hope it's improving though but she is a she's an older girl too I think she's 12 now that sounds right so yeah she's up there whoops I don't know where the hell that went I think I tethered part of the earth. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh-oh. Well, that was a goof. I'm going to go refill these things real quick. Eh, yeah, let's get the fuel too, sure. Oh, that's a bummer pawn. Yeah, that's frustrating. I feel like we had a similar experience, actually, with the food we were getting for a little while. But uh, it did come back after a while, after a few months. Thankfully. I'm going to get a little more confident with this again. Oh. Well, apparently I shouldn't be. Although I guess that does the job, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's all we really need. 
Works for me. Damn, that's worth a pretty penny, isn't it? Not really able to get a good long cut in this position. Gotta remember to look pretty thoroughly for this uh, ion ring once we're inside as well. In you go. I guess we can just pop this off too, huh? Didn't really think about that. Okay, I guess that's all the exterior stuff. Welcome back. Scary Cloud. 23 months on the bear pile. Welcome on back in. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, I don't know, man. I've been, I've been enjoying our little door trick, but... I feel like I probably ought to go ahead and give this the old once over on the inside first. That's not what I expected. Whoa, okay, this is extremely disorienting. Oh boy. Okay, well, yeah, we got a busted regulator already, so that's unfortunate. Thank you. Man, what a weird... What a weird layout for this thing. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, this is a new poster, I think. Dr. Doris Singh. Or, uh, yeah, Singh. Inventor of the Railgate. Oh, cool. That's neat. There's a regulator. It might be worth doing here. I think I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Air pressure level decreasing. Then we can just hang on to the wall right here and open it up. No! Oh no. Whoa, what the fuck? What are you doing here? Where in the world did you come from? Were you outside? Weren't you already in the barge? Why in the world would there be a communications array in the inside of the ship? Oh no. Oh, this is radiation. Okay, we're just gonna leave that for now. Where's the air filter too? Okay, hang on. Let's see. This is still... There's our... Power generator as well. This is an interesting ship. Alright. You got five minutes left in this ship, Cutter. Before they turn the lights out on you. We it's a out. spare one for the science ship. Oh, okay, alright. Yeah, I, I can... I can accept that. Yeah, that wasn't the, uh... That wasn't the safest depressurization in the world. I was having second thoughts about that one as I started it. Doo -doo -doo. Sit right here and open that up. Airlock depressurizing. Mm-hmm. Alright, I think that is the ship depressurized. So I suppose that might have been worth the uh, price of admission there. Do we have access to the shell here, or are we just going to go, yeah, we're going straight out to the outside. But... Oh, no, we got level two thrusters here, don't we? There's a reactor, too. I'm on these same geckos that require explosive decompression, and I keep causing massive destruction. Please teach me your ways. Well, th first of all, thank you for the bits. Second of all, have you tried just getting absurdly lucky at every turn? Have you tried just doing what seems like a good idea in the moment, and then it just works out? Yes? Uh, I, unfortunately, that's about the extent of my expertise, I think. Maybe try doing that more? 
try harder? Where's that damn ion ring, dude? Where's my goodies at? Might be time to start cutting this shell out already. I think we might start from the front here. Then we could get that radiation taken care of real quick, too. Which it seems dangerous to not have an access panel on this side. But I'm no expert, I guess. I'm just the guy they hire to cut the ship apart. If you got the object scanner upgrade, the parts show up as purple on that screen. Really? Oh, look at that. That sort of makes it a lot easier. Those are often parts that are inside the actual um, salvageable stuff, though, right? But I suppose it will probably also mark the free floating ones. I assume. That's right, Dark Side. Well, that's good info, Lord Balkan. Thank you. I'll have to take advantage of that. I think we're good to go here. Oh, this guy needs a push. That is kind of moving. Hey there, Buck. It's going well today. We're mostly doing some uh, scoping out of this one on the first shift here. What is the deal with you right now? Are you getting hooked on the cockpit? Looks like it. Ah, this goddamn thing. Hmm. Let's see. I think we got another cut point right here for this guy. Yeah. I'm trying to decide if I care about... trying to keep this organized with these shell pieces or if I just want to go hog wild and cut everything into ribbons down here I think I'm going to try to stop myself at this point see what we can do here in the second shift mostly got the uh, exterior stuff here so not expecting a big payoff you know I always do the whole shell in one go if I can. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh. The story's growing on me wrong. I'm enjoying it more as we get in uh, further into it. It sounds like you're at, you had a similar experience. It certainly uh, gives a little more justification to the 15 minute morning, shift. Hey. New poster. Gotta shout out Dr. Dr. Singh. Hold on, we gotta We gotta give her a little space in place of the over the moon brewery. Where's she at? There we go. Perfect. Can't forget, of course, though. The best poster. Shout out Hardy. We got 349 tokens. I assume there's probably something here that we can pick up. Although, no, hold on. It was rank 18, I want to say. That was when we were uh, going to start to be able to purchase our gear. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to find at least something worthwhile. Max tether upgrade. That's a good way to go. 
Not having to go back and refill those all the time. I like that a lot. And then Tether Lifetime seems like a good one to go for as well. And then Laser Cutter. Cooldown. That's not really all that important. Ideally, I'm looking to never need to have this thing cool down. I think, honestly, the durability upgrades are pretty solid, too. Might as well go ahead and go for these. And that'll do it. Oh, yeah, let's get the upgrade to the explosion size of the demo charge. That'll make those a lot more reliable to use. Auto deploy thrown charges attach on impact. That's cool. That seems like it might actually be useful. All right, good use of the tokens. Let's do it. Back to it. Is this game reviving Dead Space? I think the only part of this that is relevant to Dead Space might be the, the space bit. And then sometimes you die, I guess, if you go into the furnace. Otherwise, I think we might be in different genres here. I guess there's the line cutter thing too. Yeah, okay, fair enough. All right, I gotta get this coolant. Gotta not stand next to the radiation. That seems like a wise choice. Gotta get this like $10,000 barrel of coolant. AKA useless. Well, uh, I guess I might as well take this out now, huh? I don't see any reason to wait. In you go. Get this in the processor real quick. Nice. Oh, is she Canadian? Sorry about that. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. You gonna have a bagel? Some pasta? I ran out of Canadianisms real quick. But I could take that longer. Give me that coolant. Whoa! Okay, now that's the kind of thing we're worried about. Just going off willy-nilly with its own mind. Coolant with free will. Seems good. First level clear. Very nice. All right. Speaking of being clear... That appears to have been finally fully removed from the cockpit and therefore is heading into the processor. And it's time to start uh, worrying about our power here so we can salvage these guys. Computers in the cockpit. I think that's going to be good to go. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start working on the rest of the shell here, especially because we already got this guy disconnected. Get you gone. Get you gone as well. Goodbye. And yeah, we'll keep working on these cuts. Let's just go all the way across the bottom here. And let's not even worry about the uh, these ones here to separate the keel. Since we can just send that all as one big thing. That was... Wow, that was perfect, actually. I can't believe that worked out so well. And this one I don't trust. There we go. All right, let's take care of those for now. Although I guess we got to get the top ones too, don't we? Sure do. Oh, come on, bud. Right over here. Yeah, same thing with the keel up top as well, though we do have to separate it from the uh, actual frame. Yeah, I'll trust these. Nice. 
I think this is the exact ship I was struggling with last night. Well, we've managed to depressurize it, so I think most of the, uh... Most of the threat has been removed here. Oh, hold on a second. Did we depressurize that? We did, didn't we? I think so. Pretty sure. Guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, that's finally the, uh... Is that a soft crate? What the hell? That's weird. That's finally the, uh, cockpit shell getting in there. A little bit of glass. As is tradition. Okay, there goes that stuff. We'll go ahead and send this guy over as well. Oh, hold on. You got a door console on you, don't you? Thank you. Oh, you might have another one. You might have another one. I think you might have not. Hopefully not. I think we're good. Okay, we're good. Whew. Oh, that's free as well. Sweet. See ya. And goodbye. We're doing great. We are doing real great. Still got a cut to make on this guy. Not sure where it is. Is that on the bottom? How are you connected? Oh, there we go. No sweat. Ah, oh, we got some more aluminum to cut here, though. Hmm. How do we do this? I think we probably just go like this. Nice. That's pretty quick. Oh, two and a half scums. Thanks for the raid again. Appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. Just doing some ship breaking. You know me. I don't know why I do this. I think actually I just want to ignore. Ah, this is such a weird one. It's almost not even worth it. But it looks like I'm going to put in the effort. So then we're going to go like this. There's one big chunk. This is so awkward. Ugh. There we go. I mean, we got most of it, so that's good. Although we can also get quite a bit of the rest of it. Come on down here, and then... Oh, God. Yeah, I had a feeling that wasn't going to go smoothly. There we go. Okay. Got the vast majority of it. Oh, that just destroyed it. <laughs> yeah, good enough. Works for me. Hold on. There we go. Okay. In you go. Another cut. Object process. Transferring credits. Those furnace panels just use scanner to line up vertical cut to the beam. If you get a perfect on center, you get two halves that just float away. Oh, okay. I'll have to try that next time. Thank you. Oh, this is this seems risky. Let's just do this. I don't want to cut this with this so close. Nice and easy. In you go. What are you doing? Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Why aren't you going in there? There we are. Alright. 
We got consoles on here, it's fine, because these are just going on the barge anyway. Grab that ladder real quick, too. Oh, the ion coil was in there? Oh, jeez. I guess I should have been paying more attention. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, well. I get in the zone with this stuff, man. Is it too late? Is it already gone? Did we already process it? I think we already did, didn't we? Man. Oh, well. There's another one, I think. Hmm. There is one next to the re uh oh next to the reactor. I can't tell what the part is. All I'm seeing is the purple and there's nothing we're able to hover over. Looks like I'm still good to get the shell. At least. Do do This is another one I'm not as excited to cut, but I think this one's okay. There we go. Okay. That's the thing. Oh no. Where? Oh, this? Oh, you're right! Hooray! Oh, but this starts this in... Oh, okay. oh God, jeez, hold on. Come here. Come on, come on. Hurry. Got it. Hey! Sweet. Did we get the thing, though? It's freezing all these walls. <laughs> I think we got the thing. We got the thing. Okay, good. Yay. Yeah, that's pretty much the appeal, Chub. It's just a very zen game for me. Just very satisfying to figure out how you're gonna break the ship apart and then break the ship apart. Plus the soundtrack's pretty great. Okay, we got another aluminum panel here. This one it does not look like is actually fully attached to the beam though. Hmm. I'm gonna do this real quick and then stop the tether. Come here. You come that way. Just real quick. Let me get a good gander at you. I think there's ideal ways to approach all of these. Okay, so what was that person saying before? It was like, I knew I was gonna forget once I read it out loud. I'm just trying to think of what I would do in just an optimal approach to this. This seems good. Does that cut off the whole thing? Oh, that's like the same thing I did last time though. Man, he just gave me the right idea with it, too. I mean, this is okay, obviously. This gets a good, a good chunk of it. Not just that. 
Why not C4 it? I guess we could. I don't know if that's necessarily going to help a lot. This is your one minute warning cutter. Don't be a hero, all right? We're just doing something like this is, you know, of course, hitting the grand majority anyway. You don't in there now. Material accepted. Okay. There you go. Cut it down the exact middle is what he said. I guess I'll have to try that next time. If I can even remember. Because <laughs> I can't see how that's going to work, but I guess that's just sort of the magic behind it is somehow it works that way. Just use scanner to line up vertical cut to the beam. If you get it perfect on center, you get two halves. Just dead center. Okay, yeah, that's really all it was. Yeah. I'll have, to tr I'll have to try to remember that. It's very surprising that we got 7 million that day. I didn't even feel, really feel like we got that much. Lots of nanocarbon. A couple of valuable things. Yo, yeah, look at that. Just under a billion. Let's go. That's all it took. We owe slightly less than a billion dollars. Woo! What an accomplishment. Back to work. You get to celebrate by going back to the yard and keeping, keeping your job going. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. What did the debt start at? Over a billion. Now it's under. Yay, it's happy. Oh, that's a good girl. You want to come back to your bed? You're so cute. You're so cute. Come on. You talking to me? Oh, you're going to lay in your bed? Good job. No? All right. Fair enough. Yeah, I think we get right back to it here. Oh, hold on. No, we got our uh, ion coil. We got to find out what's next. Yeah, that's right. We got the part. What a big day, dude. Hey there. I'm I'm help you. Help you wow, we got all these. Nice. All right, we got two of these. <laughs> All right, we need a distributor. We're already at level 13. We're flying through this, it feels like. Just need a distributor now, but of course we want to pick up anything we can find. Here we go. I have no idea what finishing that does. We'll find out together. Oh, what am I doing? Start shift. Here we go. There's no distributor aboard this ship, unfortunately. That's okay, though. Processing object. Applying credit to account. Okay. Back to cutting. Almost done with the shell. Just a couple more back here, and then we gotta get these sensor arrays as well. I have a feeling there's probably a fuel tank on the ship somewhere. Can't forget to clear out that ECU and flush the thrusters before we start doing that interior work. I think the keel is free, actually. 
Although maybe not. Yeah, let's see if we can find a fuel tank aboard the ship. If I can find a way to get back aboard the ship. I think I gotta go back this way, actually. Yep, here we go. God, this is still so disorienting. Not seeing one. Yeah, I don't think there was one. That's a data drive. Thank you. Hey, bear, breaking ships are hardly breaking. I think both could be said of today so far. In a pretty even mix. Oh, we just have a path right outside here, too. This is convenient. There we go. Do, 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 do. Into the furnace with you. Hey, yeah. Material accepted. Credits transferred. And fuel time. I always do thrusters first and coolant second, and I was positive you were about to start the meltdown. I always do it the opposite way. I always do the ECU first because I I am. With, Come to the conclusion, whether or not that is true, that doing so is always okay. Because I have yet to have that cause any kind of major issue just doing that by itself. But there's probably something I've yet to run into that may be introducing new complications there. Correct until you're proven wrong, right? Exactly. Have I played any more Retro Bowl? No, I kind of... Uh, I, I played so much of that on the phone that unfortunately I think I've... I've, I've had my time with that game. It was fun while it lasted. We did only do the one stream, but heck, that could be just one of those. If I can't figure out anything else to play games. Might, might work out. I'm glad you enjoyed watching it. That makes me feel good. It was a fun stream for me, for sure. It's a game that I don't normally anticipate, you know, there being a large audience for. But it's always fun to get the folks that are just as into it as I am. It reminds me of something like uh, Basketball GM, where I was positive that there would not be much interest in that at all, but sure enough, there were people who were just as passionate about it as me. Salvage accepted. Credit <laughs> Anything that keeps you from Diablo. I got good news there for you, buddy. They're, they're, they don't need a lot of help keeping me away from Diablo. I was already pretty Diablo averse and hearing uh, the condition it's in now, that's... Uh, it's not it's not an easy sell. Hmm. Why am I missing these connections? This is all one big solid piece right now. Is it attached to the keel here? It is, isn't it? It totally is. Is it? I can't tell. I think so. I think it's attached to the keel. Hold on. If I cut this... Welcome to the bear pile. Chub wheel! Thank you very much. Summon for three months in advance. That's very kind. We'll get him three months worth of bear hugs if he could, please, Chad for the new subscription. Welcome on back, or welcome into the pile. Well, this is good to send, I think. At the very least. Oh my god. That was close. Apparently. Get in there, buddy. 
Sending a whole keel on over. That's a fun one. Nice. All right. This is a long ship. Let's see. Where on earth? Just the lower keel. There's cut points on that stupid fucking array, array thing in there. There's really not anything else. What's going on with this? Is it the keel underneath too? Is it this thing? That would be weird. There's someone at the very back of the keel. Well, there's this. Oh, wait, no, here we go. Did that do it? I think that might have done it. I'll do this one too, anyway. I think we're good there now, yeah. At least this should be able to go straight to the processor. This will be a fun one. Out you go. It's like removing the ship's spine. It's pretty great. No, no big suck. No big suck. Come this way. Come on. Come on, over here now. Not that way. Not that way. You got it? Uh, you got it? You got it, processor? I think they got it. Oof, okay. Sketchy. Valuable object accepted for processing. God, it's really struggling to get in there. <laughs> Come on, man. Hang on, I'll give you a little push. Yep. You got it? You got it? Yeah, they got it. Here we go. Now we're talking. We got a light on there. That is... Gonna be a little awkward. Oh yeah, that's probably not gonna work. Goodbye. Let's see. Applying credit. I probably. Hmm. And there are a couple of things we gotta do here. I think I need to like. Oh, this one's removed from the thruster. That's good. I'm gonna move this guy over here. I think that should work because it's already popped off the thruster. All right, Cutter. You got five minutes left in this ship before they turn the lights on. And then we're gonna worry about this part later. Let me get this keel out of the way. In you go. Oh, destroyed a light. Whoops. Mm-hmm. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Okay. That's probably good. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Not the light, the promise of safety, you monster. I do what I can, but sometimes... We, we There's things we deem the unsalvageable. And that certainly wasn't among them. In fact, that was easily savable. But... That's at least a fun way of sugarcoating the pain. I think 
this is all good. Look at this little faded off design on this one too. That's fun. Uh, I haven't actually changed any of the key bindings, Barker, which I've thought about changing the key binding for the uh, F key on grabbing objects. That's about the only one. But even that I've kind of just gotten used to. We are going to cut this. And then we are going to cut that off of here, which I am 95% sure is safe. Nice. Cool. Pipe successfully removed. In you go. Okay. Oh, this is an easy one. This is a very easy one. Okay. So we're just going to start removing this uh, container here. Fatal Hobo. Thank you for the 17 months. Keep the bear hugs coming for him. Welcome back into the pile. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Doo -doo. Oh, I think we're about to just go grab this reactor, man. Yeah, let's do it. I'm feeling ready. I'm gonna flush these thrusters. How is this unpowered? What? No, why? What did I do? No, I disagree. Why is it unpowered? Why? The pipes carry the power to them. You cut the... I didn't cut the pipes. This pipe is connected. This pipe is still connected to the reactor. Cutting the pipes for the ECU does that too? That's... I don't, I don't agree with that. That doesn't make any One sense. Left, Time to start wrapping things up. Uh, all right. Well, thankfully, we can still just do this. In you go. That'll work. Oh, shit. No. No, you don't. There you go. Yeah, it just like... It destroys a couple of these things surrounding the structure there. It's really the only major penalty for that. You can still salvage most of that anyway. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That was the majority of our income for that day. Unsurprisingly. You gotta make up your mind. You're just gonna keep standing in the doorway staring at me? This is what I do. You should be used to this. This happens a lot. What I'm doing right now, this happens almost on a daily basis. This should be very familiar by now. You're just you're fascinated by it. You're cute. She's adorable just standing there staring at me. I don't think we got enough tokens for an upgrade here. Oh, we probably do, actually. Could repair my thrusters, too, and my scanner. Hmm. Durability. I think it's worth. All right. Off we go. Yep. 
I doubt this is going to be the last day here, but we'll certainly try to make quick work of things. So, we've got an issue now, obviously, with the thrusters. And uh, I've guess I just got to remember how the hell we even did this without being able to flush the fuel. So they're separated as one big whole thing now, right? But unfortunately, that pipe is still attached. Oh, no, it's not. Right? I don't think it's attached to anything anymore. I think it's attached to that bottom cylinder, the mounting plate. But if we detach these, then though that'll separate this whole thing. And then we, I think we can just shove the rest of it into the barge. That's probably our best play here. Yeah, there we go. And then here's how we're gonna handle that. Rando Rainbow. And with the 23 months, keep the bear hugs coming for him. Welcome back to the pile. Appreciate you. Thank you for your support. Nearly two years. I always love to see the bear hugs for the resubs as well. If you got them, let them have them. Yeah, so we're going to lose the fuel pipe. The junction. We'll get the thrusters in there, and that's... Much, much more valuable than those things are, are ever going to be. So in you go. Yeah, that's fine. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. That's fine with me. And you can pull them out of the barge, but I'm pretty certain that even if we were to disconnect them down to the barge, they would still explode, and I think that also might... Um, that might cause us to lose the thruster money even after we've salvaged it. But I'm not 100% on that. Do, 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 do. All right, I guess we're good to go with this thing now. This big ass chunk of nanocarbon. I, I was hoping that would happen, wrong button, so I'm glad we've avoided any further complication. <laughs> I, would, I had hoped that you had the respect for me to know that I'm aware of that by this point in my hard space shipbreaker experience. It's like lesson one <laughs> playing this game. Did you know you can break ships? No, you're, ki you're kidding me. You're supposed to break them apart, Bear, not just send them all as one big piece. What? A chunk going to the furnace. It's trying to, but I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. Let's get these fuses. I think it's about time. Do 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 do. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can get this thing too. I'll actually make another nice little doorway for us here. Look how gently and conveniently that pops out for us. Right into the barge with you. Delightful. Salvage deposit registered. There you go. I don't know how I managed to tilt the entire ship this way, but so be it. There we go. Alright, and that'll free up the power generator. Right here. Down you go. I trust that to do the job. We got this air filter to cut out as well. Should actually be a nice, convenient opening to this section, too. Seems good. Level 6 already. Very nice. Okay. 
Let's get to work in here. Let's get the CCU and hopefully not destroy it this time. Be a little more careful. We're going to cut at the very edge in this direction. There we go. Free that sucker. Pop it up and out of here and get it through the nice convenient opening in the wall. And not destroy half a million dollars worth of salvage in one failed cut. Sweet. Let's go. All right. Now, time to make some big money. I think I'm going to start with the cockpit again, just because it's well, mostly force of habit, if I'm being honest. But going front to back just seems like a good way to be thorough anyway. Whoops. There we go. And we're going to be making the big bucks in this in this shift. Ideally, anyway. It's level 7 already. If we can get to level 9 just off of this shift, I think I'll probably call it good with this ship. And I'm even going to be a real gamer here and abandon the lights in favor of much more valuable salvage. I know, right? Who is this? What have you done with the real bear? The real bear would save all the lights for us. He knows how valuable they are sentimentally. He's not all about the money like this bear is, apparently. This capitalist swine. What happened to Comrade Bear Taffy? He's no more. He's been sucked up by the machine. Where'd that thing go? There's a little white thing floating around in there. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I got it. You got it. Come on. Get out of there now. There you go, buddy. Coolant pipe into the processor. In you go. I was I was actually gonna make that joke, Aries. I'm glad you have the proper follow up there. Thank you, saving me the trouble yet again. So as long as I let chat work it out on their own, they they got it taken care of for me. There's what I was looking for. This fabric. That's weird. It's wacky. Oh, oh, you're weirdly heavy. Come on now. And in you go. Oh, yep. Another console. Nice. It's looking a little more unlikely that we actually get to rank nine here, but we'll keep working on this. That's a light. I think I want to make another hole. Hmm. Is this really going to be worth it, though? I don't know if that's the way to do it. I think I'll do it over here. Oh, yes. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Yay. Pop that off. Pop that off. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's that. Oh, how the hell am I gonna... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, well. I'll lose a pipe. I've already lost one. What's another one? The pipe was worth more than the panel. That is... That is something. Yeah, cutting the floor does seem to be the way to go in hindsight. It would be a direct path to the barge. would be a lot easier for sure. Because this way I'm having to take it out and then shoot it down. Whereas I could just be shooting it straight down. Not to mention that might save us time when trying to salvage the whole ship. 
Is this just gonna... What if I can just do this? You're fixing to dot the I's and cross the T's. You got about five minutes to do it. We were out. Yeah, she doesn't like this. I'm kind of okay with it. Let's get this fucking thing out of here. Finally. Come on. So that's gonna mean... That is not separated. Is it not? Oh, I think we still have to do this one. And that, don't we? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, this probably isn't even worth it to do it this way. Maybe this one would do it? Hey, thank you, Raven. Appreciate that. Glad to have you. I mean, this panel is... God damn it, dude. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the way to go. Hmm. That didn't even disconnect this panel. Okay, yeah, clearly that's not helping at all. Clearly that's not the way to go. Hmm. Might as well get these things while we can. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Whoops. You get on out of here. There we go. Got a couple more computers. Might be able to get rank eight out of this. Salvage secured. Seems fairly likely. God dang thruster. Alright. That's that side at least taken care of. We can go ahead and disconnect all these guys too. I suppose I should be doing this this way actually. Might be a lot easier to just pop every individual thing off and then deal with the clutter. Oh, there we go. Now we got some removal. Or for, not removal, some separation from the remainder of it. That'll help us out. Actually, this... Oh, shit. This is going to open up a big, a big path, isn't it? Totally. Send stuff right into the barge from here. We just gotta drag this big section a little bit closer to the back wall here. So let's do that. That should work. I think it's working. It's going slow, but it's doing it. Okay. We can help it out a little bit with some fancy maneuvering. In you go. Okay, this is gonna help us out a little bit. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Cutter. Mm -hmm. Got about one minute to make your mark on this shift. I'm gonna keep letting that pull. Get a little more distance. There we go. Salvage secured. Oh. There it is. Oh, good lord. Come on, I want rank eight. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. I want at least eight. You got this. Salvage deposit registered. 20 seconds. All computers. Nice! That's a seems good right there. 
Just made it. So. Nine million dollar day. This is looking like a whole buffalo situation to me. Although it is very tempting to move on and try to find that new part for the ship doctor. I told the ship doctor I need a new compressor. Bum, 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 bum. I told the ship doctor I gotta get some rods. Professional. Nice. Moving up the ladder. Yeah, five million. That's a good amount. Of, that's a good amount of cheddar right there. Let's let's hold Buffalo this one. Gecko Salvage Runner. Runner. Would like to share the following inspirational message. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. Nice. Uh oh. Salvage five ECUs, cool. Let's go check our message real quick. Members and colleagues, unionization efforts within Lynx are becoming increasingly dangerous. We are seeing action taking, taken against organizers and are unsure how long these updates will continue. Lynx has made it clear that they do not care about their workers nor about collaborating with us to improve conditions and that they will take drastic measures to prevent change. Amid these escalating abuses of power, we have reached out and co to contacts in the Stellar Commission, asking them to step in and mediate discussions between Salvage Workers Unite and the Lynx Corporation. We'll continue to update you all on the situation so long as we are able. Hope is action. Solidarity is strength. The data miner. Mm-hmm. There's your railgate history. For the VOD viewers. If you're curious. And then... Samosas. Melissa, listen to me. A man comes aboard your ship as a chef. He best be a chef. Is this Nathan Fillion? Is, he's not a chef. That'd be an incredible get. Did you know I went down the other day and I asked him to rustle me up some samosas? You know how much I love my samosas. And he starts going off about how it's a suboptimal form of nutrition and the protein to caloric ratio is not ideal. <laughs> or whatever. Damn it, I had just spent 12 hours in a hermetically sealed spacesuit making sure 50 tons of platinum don't come crashing into this pathetic excuse of a kitchen, and he got the gall to tell me what I can and cannot eat every week, day in, day out. It's the same meal. Melissa. Uh, Captain. Captain Melissa, listen to me. I have run Mars series operations for you for 22 years. 22. The man cooks like an accountant. <laughs> I don't mean to be upset. I just, well, it's hurting morale. Okay. Thank you for listening to me. You're a wonderful captain, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. See you when you get back to station. Oh, and Captain Melissa, can you bring me some samosas? <laughs> that was a good one. I enjoyed that. Sounds like someone doing their best Nathan Fillion. Sounds like someone who just might coincidentally sound a lot like Nathan Fillion. Which is, you know, pretty fitting. Alright, we're gonna hold Buffalo this bad boy. Kai, watch out now. You're gonna wanna be in touch more delicate. Oh, I'm so sorry. Kato, what in the hell are you doing? I'm so sorry, Mr. Rhodes, sir. I... I, okay, Cato, please stop. I just, I need to hear this from you. You have received full shipbreaker training, right? Yes, I, I have. These ships are, they're different. They're more complicated. So you want to be trained on every single ship that might possibly show up in the yard? Well, yeah. What about just basic problem-solving skills? Honestly, Kato, I'm a little surprised you're even here. How? 
Come on now. In management, we have a saying. Oh, God. Disagree and commit. You can disagree with a decision, but you must commit once it's been made. I may say disagree with your place here, Cato, <sighs> but you are a Lynx shipbreaker, and I am committed to that. Are you committed, Cato? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, what are you waiting for? Get back in there and try it again. It was kind of them to give us a pretty clear-cut villain, you know? Always love to be able to hate a genuine piece of garbage and, you know, boy howdy, that's, that sure defines how. The villain used to be fuel tanks, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how times have changed. Are we done? I think all we have left is shell. Why is that playing? Holy shit. Velasco. Thank you for the gift that's up. Ethereal, welcome to the pile. Appreciate that support. Oh, we got a lot of stuff left in here. I think I want to try to make a hole in that section. Warning. Fuel levels are critical. Well, let's go refill the fuel first. Oh, shit. Do, do, do. Welcome to Vendetroid 9000. Have a nice day. Oh. <laughs> the post. I think the poster is my favorite part. The title, just the whole concept. That is. That is pretty great. Oh, this is already right. Oh, yeah. It's the fucking structural crew bed. I forgot about this. I remember now. We take the crew bed out, and then lo and behold, the panel's removed. Load-bearing bed, yeah. Well, there we go. All right, that's fixed. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Whee! Totally gonna hang that poster up, dude. That's a fun new poster. A load bearing bed is a good band name too. If anybody is looking for ideas, there you go. Load bearing crew bed, I think, might actually be an even better band name. Gorman chair. Oh, this is fancy. Look at this shit. This is like the Herman Miller of this world. Into the barge. Real fancy shit, dude. Salvage the food pack. Gotta get the light. Gotta get all the food, obviously. Very important. There was a sticker for that, right? At least some justification. Is that a cassette tape? Come back! Come back! Where the cassette? Ah, oh, it's gone. It's gone forever. Damn it. What kind of style of music do the load-bearing crew bed play? Oh well, yeah, it's got to be... It's what you're hearing now. It's this band. This band is called load-bearing crew bed. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we have that radiation hole over there, too. Plus, I think there's a uh, cap to that thing we still have to get. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Yeah, there's still a lid on that thing. Bonk. A generous Velasco! Gifting a sub to Draxy as well. We're going back into the pile, Draxy. Thank you for yet another one. Appreciate that a lot. Give him some bear hugs if you've got him. Give him some bear gifts too. Thank you for the support. Do, do, do. That's going to be up and over. Time to slice out the windows. Like a soul. Gimme. In you go. Deposit accepted. Oh, it's all furnace, you're right. Well, this isn't. This one bit, which I've yet to determine how to remove. I mean, it did look nice, at least, to remove the glass, right? Maybe that's reason enough. Need to melt the beams around it. Oh, yeah, like we were doing before, huh? So I think we just need to go like this. No. I will not. And ought to do it. Hey, sweet. That wasn't too bad. That's a big heavy sucker though, so that's gonna need it's gonna need some tether help. We'll go like that. That ought to do it. Cool. Not much left besides the other radiation containment unit. 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 So let's do that same thing right here. There's just something satisfying about rendering a piece of metal to plasma with a beam that would melt your bones. You said it, bud. When you're right, you're right. In you go. No sweat. What's that? Oh. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. A couple of emergency lights in there. Nothing to worry about. Oh, hold on. One last panel. Or console, I mean. <laughs> that struck a chord, huh, Jacob? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting a lot of people drawing some parallels to their work experiences from this game, unfortunately. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and ship this sucker. At least this half, I think, is good to go. We're going to go ahead and get five or six tethers on this All guy right. and this send it home. Five minutes left. We were out. Off you go. What was that? Tiniest little bit of aluminum. Okay. Yeah, now we're looking good. We got a few lights. That's it. Let's send this one too. Which is lighter than the other one, so it should do just as well. You going? Oh yeah, it's moving. That'll work. You got the terminal floating around on the barge. I think we got it. I think we're okay. 
Destroyed a door. Oh, no. Oh, that's satisfying, man. Look at that. Goodbye, ship. There we go. Fantastic. This one's looking good, too. We did. We whole buffaloed it. Absolutely. That's looking good to me. Oh. There we go. Apparently missed that thing. We got a few other stray little bits floating around, too. Oh, it's a light. Saved it. Got this thing here. Another light, it looks like. I think this might be something. That's a food pack in it. Oh, that's a battery pack. Glad I found that one. Do, do, do. Got that in there, right? Yeah, I think we're good. Nice. Oh, and there it goes. There it goes. Beautiful. As it's obliterated. That's right. Give it a nice little bear F for the Nilsen. See you later, buddy. Oh, look. One more for the road. Nice. Looking good. That's the whole buffalo, baby. And we're back. Lost out on 2.7% that time. Not too bad. Not too bad. Cool 30 mil off that project. Plenty of MP, plenty of LT. Let's go. Nice. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Links would like to and this. the following inspirational message. We got this Make too, the so. Of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Clearly a uh, clearly a victory there. Now, where does this one go? I want this one to be where I'm going to see it the most. Which means... Probably... Ah, oh, it's got to be fully visible, though. Hmm. I think we'll have to go ahead and go here. It's certainly a fitting accompaniment... ...to my bunny poster. There's so many, I love it. Yes. There we go. Delightful. All right. Let's go find our new ship. We're going to have to find a... Uh, what was it? A dampener? No, a distributor, right? Yeah, we need a distributor. So let's find one of them. Not on the Trenchant Jackson. Or in the Canada. Got one on the Ambler Mark 10. Tanker. Okay. 28 mil on that guy. That looks interesting. Could roll with that. The Trenchant Aurora does not have a distributor, does not have a distributor, does not have a distributor. The Little Freddy Mark IV. I just love that name for this ship. That is a high quality name. I think this might have to be the one. Yeah, 36 mil on that guy. Ooh, they got everything on this ship. Look at this. Everything but the filter. That could be nice, too. 33 million on the corpulent Shaw. I could do that. Hmm. Yeah, the tanker seems fun just for the risk of explosives, right? I like it for that alone. It is only seven salvage levels, unfortunately. 
Oh, it's very relaxing, bearded. Yeah, no, this is my this has been my Zen game lately. I just love though that the little Freddy has or no, which one is it? The Shah. The Shah has like every single uh, ship doctor item aboard, besides the filter, and has nine potential levels of salvage and has thirty three million dollars worth of salvage. So, yeah, I think we'll probably go for this. The corpulent Shah. Let's do this. I hope you're rested there, Cato. Don't want to repeat it yesterday. Yes, Mr. Rhodes. Let's practice some on-the-fly problem solving. Go get that reactor. Uh, yeah, it's, but this reactor is so different. <laughs> what did we say about disagree and commit? Commit to the reactor. Yes. Uh, hmm. uh, I, I just need a minute. Don't rush now, Kai. Don't mess it up two shifts in a row. <laughs> okay. Oops. He's just getting okay. shittier and shittier. Okay, I got it. No, you don't. Damn it, Kato. Back out of there. Quick line. It's melting down. Oh, shoot. He did. I'm sorry. Fellas, you just vaporized a highly valuable object. He wasn't ready. You've been pushing my crew too far. We cannot have insufficient training of our teams. You're the one breaking protocol, making a skip training. Don't talk to me about protocol. Someone's got to foot the bill for screw-ups like this. I'll be more careful next time. Add this to my desk. Oh, I already have, kid. Now, I want you to punch out so you and I can have a one-on-one -on -one discussion. Y yes, sir. The rest of you can carry on. Kato and I need to talk. His name's Kaido, man. And before I get up and all, all up in arms about that, it's Kaido, right? Like it's, it's one of those situations where you're dudes will hear the name pronounced correctly and then just stick with the, the the decision they made for nothing else than other than stubbornness like you hear it being said come on man minimal effort airlock depressurizing alright let's have a look in here again I mean, to be honest, the way we've been handling it with the depressurization, as silly as it is to do that door cutting thing, I think might actually be fairly effective. At least it's been a little more effective than what I've been doing lately. Oh, that's an interesting reactor. This is a cool ship. Dampener. It's a good start. Yeah, there's got to be all kinds of good stuff floating around in here. This is cool. I'm loving this music in here, too. Another dampener. Dude, we are going to make a killing. Just in this particular room. This is going to be so much money. Hmm. Asteroid shard. What the fuck? Weird. It's a fun thing to have aboard. Asteroid shard. Um, you know what? Great point. So brave. Many people are saying this. Many people are thinking it, but you had the balls to say it. Let's have a look up front here. Or in the back, I guess. Maybe I should flush the thrusters first this time. 
It has often worked out that I have not been able to do it properly. I suppose doing it first thing would ideally prevent that issue. What is this? Digital credit something? I should have fully read that, I guess. Start select game. 21 months. Bear hugs if you got them. Welcome on back in. Thank you for the resubscription. It's just straight up cash. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm down with that. Thought it might be. It's a brick of money. Yeah, cool. Okay. So we have this regulator here. Which I'm going to try to use, but I'm also wondering if the cockpit is going to be a part of this. And if there's maybe another regulator in there is one right there. Okay. Well, there's one here too. Hmm. I think we start here. And then if we Hmm. Yeah, maybe flush the thrusters first before I do that. Hey, that's what we needed. Nice. Got the distributor. Sweet. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Oh, this one's broken too. Okay. Let's go do it. Because what I was saying about the ECU where it's normally safe to just go ahead and do this. That that being, you know, taking out the coolant in the ECU. I'm not loving these sounds. Anyway, yeah, no, this seems like it might be even less problematic. despite what those noises may have led you to believe. So yeah, there's no more fuel going through those, which means I think these are okay to cut, although I guess we don't really need to. We could cut this one. That would, that would help. But then again, probably just disconnect it from the reactor. Which we also do once the ECU has been taken care of, but that's also, of course, after we find a path for the reactor. So what we need to do now is depressurize, which I was going to do this way, and I think it's probably going to be the safest way to do it. It's from inside this um, small area. I think there's a fairly high likelihood that this is going to destroy another regulator. But it didn't. In fact, all it did is collect all the regulators in the same room, which is really convenient, actually. <laughs> That's helpful. Thank you. There we go. What's that taken care of? Ship's mostly depressurized. We're just going to have to take care of these airlocks real quick. Airlock depressurizing. Airlock depressurizing. Yeah, that has been a fairly effective means of depressurizing stuff. Let's just take the least violent decompression you can, I guess. And now I think it's shell time. Surprisingly already, I believe it is time for the shell. So let's do it. Did it down and now now. We're gonna go for some quicker cuts. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Mm. 
Yeah, the soundtrack, honestly, is one of the uh, strong points of the game for me, for sure. It adds a lot to the experience. So we got a couple of coolant tanks, we got a couple of lights. And other than that, this is all getting processed. Steam Blizzard. Welcome back. Eight months. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate it. Keep the bear hugs coming today if you got them. I'll always love to see the bear hugs for the resubs. Thank you for the support. Welcome back in. Give me that. Is there anything on here? No, right? I don't think so. Oh, never mind. Get that off. Ugh, there we go. There we go. That was it, right? Yeah, that's good. No problem. Get this keel over there. That should go in. Very nice. Go in. Go in. Got another utility arm. That's going in there. This section, I think, is free to go as well. Let me double check. Make sure there's no lights or anything on there. I think we're okay. And this is pretty well disconnected from the cockpit already. We got a light on that one. But nothing else, I don't think. And that's not disconnectable, so. Looking good. Okay, cool. There's a quick asteroid shard. This is fun into the furnace with you. I wonder what that's worth. Asteroid chart is four grand. Oof. I was really hoping those would be worth more. I thought that'd be like a cool, unique thing. It's like, oh, lucky you. You got an asteroid chart. Extra money. But nope. Those are like actual space garbage, apparently. Do, 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 do. It's literally just a space rock, right? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Valid point. Now, we've already opened this up, apparently. This has been split off and nearly ready for salvage. Come on, get me through there. Get me through there. Better take care of these outside parts. Well, I guess we are working our way there, aren't we? Hey, look at that. Goal, goal number one reached already. Terrific. Now, right, these are all ready to go. Oop. Send it. Yeah, a lot of people have talked about this being a cool VR possibility. And I agree. I think it'd be pretty neat. If maybe a little uh, nauseating. I think that's all processor, which works really well for us. Oh, I'm out of tether shit. believe we've got that whole big chunk going over there like that and I'm pretty sure oh it's got a sensor area okay well, hang on we gotta cut that out of there oh this goes barge too which we have to slice that's okay we got time there we go 
Okay, that thing's good. Send it. Now we need to cut this array off of here. Good. That's better. Okay. I think that's it. I think otherwise that thing is good to go. All right, we're just going to have to take care of that next time. That's probably going to be floating off into space by the time we get back in here. All right, four mil. Pretty good. Good start. That was a lot of the uh, necessary prep work taking care of that shift, so we should be making a lot of money here in this next one. Out of a gecko. You've seen how he is. But you know what? You tell him, Kai, you need to scan before you cut. And he says, Yes, sir, I will. And you have that conversation a hundred times. And you know that every time he says that, Yes, sir, I will. You know he means it. That I put him in this position. Should I have set him on his way years ago? Twenty years at length. Don't even know what a lame old dog like me would do other than this. I'm <laughs> blabbering on. What I wanted to say, Cutter, about the bobcat and whatnot. Yeah, I may be wrong about that. We were out. Oh no. It's the part of the story where we start to lose all hope. I would, thank you. Successful transplant. Nice job. Need two nice rods. If I had a heart, I'd be proud. To finish up level 14. Alright. I do, I need the rod. It's true. Hmm. 86 tokens again. Hmm. There's not a ton of upgrades I'm super interested in anymore. Uh, yeah, I'll just hang on to our tokens for now. Here we go. And there are rods aboard the ship. Hopefully we can find them. Have a productive day now. Kai, you good? Mm -hmm. Yep. Kaido and I had a real good heart to heart yesterday. Right, Kai? Yeah. All good. So, what's Come the here. punishment? Doc pay, uh, form a write up. Come no here. Sugar cubes for a month? Come on. Nothing. Get in there. No punishment. Kai and I just needed to talk mano a mano. Come on. What does that even mean? Keep mouthing off, Steiner, and you'll find out. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad y'all figured it out. Let's just get back to work. There we go. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. All right, well... There may be all kinds of infighting going on am amongst the squad here, but can't let that stop us from having an efficient day, right? Company bear out to do the job. Let's keep let's keep our shit together here. There's a nice little access point for the uh to the interior again. This thing is weirdly heavy, too. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish clearing the shell. And at that point, we're going to start worrying about the reactor. Because that is certainly uh, 
top priority still here. Did not realize we were disconnecting the cargo units. It's kind of cool. I wonder if we can take advantage of that. I feel like I've been able to do this with ships like this before, where we sent like all three into the barge at once. We'll see what we can do. I've mentioned before how scary it would be if you had to be like aware of where the sparks were going to go off the laser cutter. That would probably just be an absolute mess. Just incessant sparking of the fuel tanks. I'm still afraid of that, I know, right? <laughs> there are times when I'm even convinced that it's actually made a difference. Oh, we got another radiation containment unit here. I think it's time to start getting these shipping crates. I'm just trying to figure out... There's got to be a better way to do it than what I'm about to try here, you know? Unless... Does this work? Worth a go. Um... Is that disconnected? This panel should be. There we go. It's the fucking... It's the crates again. Maybe we just go ahead and disconnect them all. Which I guess mostly just requires the bottom ones. Tether them all together. And then once we've cleared out this nano carbon, we just go ahead and send them down as a group. That ought to do pretty well. Alternatively, right now, we can just go ahead and do this. And there you go. And there you go. 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 And disconnect that. Let's see how that goes. And you come over here. Do, 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 do. Hey, nice. Now, is this actually going to function the way I want it to? Nope. <laughs> Try again. I mean, more tethers, right? Probably, probably not going to hurt. Just bunch them all up. We all go as a group. That's probably going to work. Seems fine. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Bing, 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 bing. Usually just push them into the barge once they peel off. Yeah, I mean, that's probably easier, honestly. This is fun, though. I love that those are attached to the actual thing. Oh, yeah, the keel's not off yet. I mean, it's working, right? Yeah, look at those things go. It's totally, totally doing the job. It's a little slow, but it's functional. Do, do, do. Pop that off. You can go ahead and go by yourself. Same with you. Okay, looking good. You're all set. You're all set. No, oh, I attached that to the other one, didn't I? Oh, well. I mean, again, though, here's the thing, is if I wanted to, I could really just do this. That seems a lot more effective, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, instead of waiting and praying for those to function the way I want them to. Give it a little bit of brute force, see how that goes. Seems effective. I 
That goes in there. Nice. And same with these, too, honestly. In you go. And those are probably good to go as well. Nice. Oh, they disconnected. Shit. I do actually feel like if you do something like this, it should, like, the laser should hit other things potentially, which it might. Now that I say that out loud, I think that might actually be the case. In you go. And then I guess this doesn't really matter anymore. Nor does that. What is that? Okay, cool. There we go. I didn't really need to disconnect this last time, did I? I just sent the whole big thing. This is, you're going down with your air ray attached. Very nice. What are we doing here? Things are going pretty well on this one. And this is the same situation as last time where... Pretty sure we just go ahead and ship this whole thing over. I think it might also have one of those rail things on it, but I don't think this one actually did, so we're good to go here. Yeah, this one's gone. Nice and easy, dude. And then same situation here, right? Absolutely. Off you go. Couple of tethers on you. That's that taken care of. That is... Fantastic. I think we're just keeping the work up on the shell here. Let me grab these airlock consoles real quick, too. I already got that one nice. Level four, dude. Let's go. Still got over five minutes on the shift, too. Looking good. Doo -doo. Let's get both of these airlocks so we can just get these out of the way. It's so satisfying how that pops off like that, and then you can just go like, boop, right over into the processor. Right into the barge with you. Nice. Goodbye. Shift timer's always 15 as far as I can tell. Careful of that cool down here. All right, same situation. Pop it right off the top. This one not going as smoothly. Oh, shit. There you go. That ought to do it. Oh, shit. Oh, no! When did I do this? Oh, damn it. Oh, fuck. Well, we better get to work on that, then. Yeah, this just became a higher priority. Okay, we've got to finish... Here, let's cut the keel off right here, and then this will get this out of the way. We can then send the whole keel off. Like so. Just don't hit the pipe again, maybe? Yeah, ooh, good. Oh my god, wow. Don't hit me either. I guess I'm kind of important, too. There we go. Okay. And then this shell is going to have a few more complications, so instead we'll just... How the heck am I going to... 
think maybe we'll just drag it out. The top might be the easiest way to go. Based on this situation. Yeah, I think top's gonna be easiest. It doesn't mean we have to finish at least disconnecting these guys. So that's this keel piece, aka this thing blocking the way. There we go. Valuable object accepted for process. Get that ladder out of here real fast. We got at least a couple other consoles in there too, I'm pretty sure. So let me take care of those real quick. Maybe we don't. Oh, there we go. I guess I could check the scanner. Give me this. And I don't think there's any others. All right, we are getting the reactor now. So, that's going to involve... Of course, we disable the ECU. I'm wondering... I think we can probably just destroy this. I don't think this is a big deal. Because, like... What is it going to be? Like, probably 30 grand or something? 12,000. Yeah, it's nothing. Into the processor. gonna make this a hell of a lot easier here all right ECU That's time one minute left on the clock cutter one minute left where did it go here we go all right let's begin give me that reactor meltdown begun Savage Photo Bomber. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Give them some bear hugs, please. Appreciate the new subscription. Welcome on in. Mmm. Mmm. That's good stuff. That is good stuff right there. Very nice. All right. We got ourselves... A heck of a day three coming up here. Great shift, though. Great shift. <laughs> wow. There's a new PB. Nearly 16 million. Oh, my God. That's great. Two mil from the shipping crates. Four mil from the reactor. Three and a half from the nanocarbon. Hell yeah, man. That was a great shift. Are you trying to get as much salvage as you can in a time limit? Yeah, so every shift, you are uh, paying the cost of, like, renting your equipment and other weird fees that they uh, associate with your employment so you're looking to make as much money as you can every shift in order to offset the cost of actually going out on a shift. And we're able to reduce the cost per shift by uh, investing in, you know, like purchasing our own equipment, but we have to get to a higher enough rank to be able to actually do that. So for now, yeah, I mean, really the objective is to pay down the debt and you don't have to be efficient about it. You just do shifts however you want. But personally, I do like to try to be as efficient as I can. It, it felt like an intercom day. Felt like someone was going to try to give me a call. Rook, you hearing me? What happened out there with Kaido was garbage. Agreed. Rhodes just constantly doubling down, pushing him. He's a bully. The only thing worse than corporate suits are middle management jerks who love stepping on everyone else. Just, just to climb the ranks. Even Weaver's given up. 
He knows Rhodes can do him in just like the rest of us. It's not right what's happening. And from what I see, none of us are safe. We need to do something. The other stations don't have it much better. This is going down everywhere. I'm not going to stand by and let them kick us around like this anymore. We deserve better. Keep you posted. Lou out. I'm going to I'm going to start the betting at uh two shifts until Lou mysteriously vanishes. Good morning, shift breaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Listen up, y'all. Believe it or not, I'm a little nervous to bring this up. But I can't take Rose's crap. Anymore. Let's make that one. <laughs> and we need to do something. Let's We're say probably next shift she's gone. Again, are you? Oh, you bet I am. What other option do we have? Lou? No. Hell no. I've seen these movements come and go, kid. They don't change a thing except get us regular folks into even more trouble. Damn right. Yeah, hold up now. You sure about this, Lou? Sure as one can be, Weaver. He's even coming after you. You know that. After all you've done for them. The union? I can't get into any more trouble. None of this is your fault. They're supposed to protect us. But the only thing they care about is their bottom line. So we need to hit them where it hurts. Hold your damn horses. Lou, what are you suggesting? It's called industrial action. A way to protest. To Ooh, is work. this getting interesting? Look around you. We're expensive. We change up the formula a bit? We barely have a say in our futures. I admire your fire, kid. But this is too much. She's going to start telling us to blow up reactors work. on purpose? I got family to look after. I'm out. I, I, I need to think about this some more. But I appreciate that you care, Lou. Damn it. They're just scared, Lou. I know where you're coming from, but... Is this really the right thing to do? Dang. Lou, I gotta go. Pal's coming up. Talk to him. Well, Rook, there has to be a point where enough is enough. And this is mine. I wanted the whole crew on board. But we can get support elsewhere. I'll contact the Union. I hope you'll be with us when it counts. Lou out. That did not go the way she was hoping, did it? All right. Back to the yard. Now, I'm all about just shoving ships into the furnace in rebellion, right? If that's the way we got to go, so be it. All right, then. I do believe we are good to go on the power generator here. So let's get started on that. Wait, no, we did. We flushed the thrusters, right? Yeah, we did. We flushed the thrusters, so we're good. No need to worry about that anymore. Yeah, I'm starting to think that might be the way to go. Let's knock that out first. <laughs> I collected the fuse to get to level six. Oh my god. I didn't realize I was that close. I always do the fuses by ear. Put a hand on them to hear the beeps and I always mess up if I try visually. That's a, that's I like that you can do that. I don't seem to have too much trouble with the visual aid though. Does the C4 still suck? It never really did. People warned me about it, but when we used it, it was working flawlessly. It did exactly what we wanted it to. Okay. I'm going to start salvaging this cockpit. I ain't no union buster. I might be a scab. Based on my uh, 
based on the way I've been going about things. Mostly just because I like doing the job so much. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just oblivious on the sidelines. Like, I don't know what y'all are talking about. I just like breaking the ships up. This is just fun. Just hilariously indifferent. And uh, that pretty much describes my experience here, yeah. Which I'm just, I'm just perfect for the company then, if that's my mentality, huh? Just a mindless drone. But hey, I'm happy, right? Works for me. Where's that thing I'm getting? Oh, he's going the barge? Are these even worth anything? Huh. Yeah, I had no idea you could yank those things off. Salvage deposit secured. Weird. Credits awarded. This ship name is very good, yeah, I agree. The Corpulent Shaw. Oh, I remember when I thought I could fit an ECU through here. Well, guess what? I think I can. Again. I've renewed that mentality. gonna do it, damn it. Salvage destroyed. Please pay attention. Here we go. Right on through. Right on through. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh so satisfying. Oh my god. Felt so good. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Fantastic. Those are the moments we live for, dude. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Now, now, now. Off you go. That should be the whole thing, right? Uh, it's connected to here still. Hang on. Hold up. Now you're free to go. Right? I think so. Should be. Don't tell me you're connected to there. Don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say that because I don't like it. Oh no. Oh, what a silly thing. It's just stock now. This is fucking structural, dude. Look at that. It would be highlighted blue if it was free, right? I think that shit's connected somewhere, man. Morning. Fuel levels are low. All right, we'll figure that out later. Let's disconnect the tether for now. Oh, look at this. this. These thrusters are certainly ready to go. Okay. We can help you guys out. I'm just sitting and waiting for salvage. Do, 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 do. Not a big shell at the end again. Oh no, these are separated, right? Yeah, these are separated. Okay. We're coming over here. We're gonna pop these tanks off individually. Hopefully clear some space for the thruster to come out. Grab this. Buddy. In you go. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. There we go. Beauty. Salvage deposit. Mm hmm Credit transferred. That's level seven. Grab this. Looking good. Looking good. Salvage secured. Got another cut point up there, I didn't even realize. There we go. 
<coughs> Pardon me. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. And reactor number three. I'll make a little split on these guys, but honestly, that's kind of nice. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I'll help us out a little bit. Give us more space. Oh, I got a whole fucking... Where'd I got a whole big section of this nanocarbon I didn't even process. Oh, that's duh. That's the one that we just sent, right? Whoops. Okay, hang on. Cancel those. That's going in anyway, so we're good to go. Ah, uh, let's go refill fuel and tethers here. Hold on. There we go. Those should be good. Let's keep working on the back here. One more fuel tank. This guy's probably good to go. Let's get him a couple of tethers going that way and then... Oh, don't get caught. Don't get caught. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Hi-yo! Nice. Have we had any more deaths since the first one? I think the only death I've had has been when I flew a thousand miles an hour into the stationary ship. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the only one we've had so far. Yeah, rank eight. Let's go. We might get rank nine here. Okay. Keep that going. This is all flushed, so we can go ahead and cut at these points. Should be totally fine. There we go. That is actually going with that, so you go ahead and attach, actually. Here you go. You guys make friends. Nice. And then you go over there. Cool. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and shoot you off. Goodbye. Couple of asteroid shards. See you later. See you later. House full release? I'm loving it. I have once again fallen in love with this game. I'm having a very good time. I'm a big fan. Off you go. Oh, did it get in the furnace? I think it got in the furnace. Shit. Cutter, Bummer. Five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while the getting's good. Okay. Weaver out. Can do, Weaver. We are going to take care of the radiation containment unit real quick. And also the radiation filter within. No such thing as a pleb around these parts, Rag. In fact, I'll go an extra step. Not just yet, because I don't want to ruin the momentum I'm building here. Welcome to Peregrine! Peregrine! Thought somebody beat me to it for a second, but there we go. Peregrine with a prime sub. Welcome into the pile. Get the bear hugs going for him. Appreciate that. Thanks for the support. In you go. That should take the panel with it too, right? Yeah, there we go. I should just stop disconnecting that thing and just send the whole thing over. Coffee fingers! There it is. You beat me. I had a feeling someone would take the wheel there. Thank you very much. That does mean I owe chat one gifted sub in my brain now, though, so I'll have to still take care of that anyway. Apparently I'm doing this now. Not sure why, but my brain is telling me I need to. Get that console real quick. Oh, I think I know why. 
Because they're going for rank nine. That's why. Oh my god. We got rank nine already on this ship. We've gotten the grand majority of this ship actually already. I'm just now realizing there's very little left. I think we got like every valuable component already. This is a heck of a job on this one. Yeah, no, I'm proud of myself. This is a three shift job. We got pretty much everything we wanted out of it. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Tell you what I'm going to do here. So we're just going to go ahead and slice this guy off at the edges. I'll grab that computer terminal too. Probably a good idea. Okay. Is this pipe finally free? It looks like it might have been freed. Yes, that's good. I don't know what did it, but I'll take it. And uh, you're going processor too, actually, buddy. You're still not moving? What's the matter with you? Stupid goddamn pipe. There it goes. I'm sane Yet again. I'm Saini. Another 10 gifted subscriptions. Welcome to the pile, everybody. Give him the bear hugs and the bear gifts. Oh, that's what's going on. I see now. <laughs> no. Don't you fucking dare. That way. Don't. No. No. Okay, that's fine. And then hiya. Yes. Saved it. All right. That was a little f funny looking, but we got there. You know what? Furnace. Fuck it. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. As many as you need. All go in Furnace. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Go, 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 go. Mage Paradoxus. 77 months. Welcome back into the Bear Ball. Appreciate it. Get the bear hugs coming for him. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Go, 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 go. Yeah, there's no chance this one's going to make it. But fuck it. Use all the tethers. Spider-Man this shit. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Go. Go. It's moving. It's moving. It's trying. Oh, but not quite. Still, though, goddamn, dude. We crushed this one. Look at that. Another $12 million shift and only 1.5 left on the board. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. Oh, is there still a radiation containment unit on there? Yeah, that would explain it. I'd have been able to save that, but oh well. Because those things are worth a lot. The containment unit for the radiation is like a few hundred thousand, I think. Yeah. Just a single one was 430. So those are definitely worth going for. Junior specialist. Nice. All right. Good stuff. Let's buy some gear, dude. I think we're actually able to purchase some equipment now. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Today's weather... Re oh, Gather shit. Up, fellas. Whoa, Gather boy, up. here we go. I got something to share with you all. A real treat. Hold up. Where's Lou at? What'd I tell you? We'll come to that. Now, I'm gonna read a message I acquired last night. <clears throat> To group undisclosed, as has been occurring in salvage yards across the colonies, our team has been struggling with an administrator who is oppressive, petty, and cruel. This official puts our safety at risk and assaults the mental health and well-being of our team. These clear tactics of oppression 
are being used to undermine the strength and will of our crew. Huh. We need to show Lynx and the world <laughs> that we are not without power. Why is he laughing? And we will no longer tolerate being treated as less than human. Industrial action would show Lynx that we control the means of their profit. Action is hope, solidarity is strength, your colleague in solidarity, Lou. Carnegie Station, where's Lou? Heading back where she belongs. You gone way out of line here, Hal. This is my crew, and I say who stays and who goes. Save it, Joseph. I've shared all this with headquarters. And now, I've got one last thing. A message from Rye Paulson herself. I strongly encourage you all to pay attention. To all employees of Link Salvage Division, this is an important update on our effort to safeguard you from predatory union organizers. We have received disturbing information of a plan to commit a terrible act of violence by this group. In these drastic times, it is our duty to take drastic measures. Giving you that Kubrick stare, dude. For this, we turn to Clause 19C of your work agreement. Clause 19C stipulates that anything produced by Lynx equipment is the sole property of Lynx Corporation. Most importantly, this clause applies to the genetic assets produced by our Everwork technology, otherwise known as SPARES. Beginning today, Lynx Corporation will immediately assume control of all individual rights and liberties of its employees. <laughs> yeah, that sounds for great. The spread of union activity and protect our precious workforce. You entrusted yourself to us, and we will keep you safe from harm. Thank you. Oh, thank this you. It's ludicrous. First, you push the hazard levels on us, then, you stop us from training. You take Dee Dee's comms away, you bully Kaido, Lou disappears, and now this. This is beyond. It's all right there in your contract, Joseph. Now, as your corporate representative, Curzon. Your financial account with New Manila Credit is being turned over to Lynx. Recurring transfers there will be stopped immediately. 52, that vehicle parked outside your half is now Lynx property. No! I sent a tuck to retrieve it. No, no that's no, no, mine. No, no, no. I was working that. on it. That was my personal property. I gave that to Muted. And don't think I haven't seen you scrounging parts on the job, 52. That's theft, kiddo. And it stops now. Please. My family. Please. Look, this is all temporary. Just till this union stuff gets sorted. Disagree and commit, people. Now, since we're down a person, you're all gonna have to pick up the slack. All right, when do we get to no, when no, do we get to well, shoot him out of a cannon into the sun? Start breaking themselves. I'll see you all in the yard. Roads out. That's gotta be the the end game. Is we take him with our grapple gun, and he's just out there flailing in space. He's got a he's got a space suit on at least, so he can experience the torment, and then just fucking <laughs> right off into the sun. The largest model of Javelin from Helix Heavy Industries with a nose to tail length of 95 meters. Oh, Jesus. So do we even bother with this now? Hey there, I'm Shifty. I'm here to help you get this ship healthy again. All right. The final boss fight is cutting up the station. How lives in, right? Okay, let's go uh, see if we can buy one of these pieces of gear here. Do have 426 tokens now. That one requires 19. Hey, we can buy the grapple. License your own grapple. Eliminate the rental fee and become the envy of all shipbreakers. Nice. 
All right. I'll take off a lot of the rental fees. Purchase thrusters. Let's go. Okay. And then scanner is level 20. Laser cutter is level 19. Helmet's level 19. Work suit's level 19. Demo charge is rank 20. Okay, cool. Any upgrades? Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait. There's one. Noise. All right, what's the new shift? Let's find out. Ooh, hazard level nine. I don't know how. <laughs> this one does have rods. It's only worth 13 million, though. Uh, excuse me? I mean, we're going to have to go with missing no here. That's yeah, we got it. We got to choose that. I don't think I even need to see anything else. Oh, we got another unknown down here, though. What in the heck? Oh, probably the ghost ship, huh? Right, yeah, I forgot about that. Weird. Okay, yeah, let's try it. This one's got 36 million and a rod, so... Here we go. Try it out. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Ah, doesn't it feel so much calmer and focused out there? In fact, I'm gonna leave Weaver on mute a while. Let him cool down. You're a real waste of skin, Hal. Get him. Careful now, Curazon. I can put you on leave, too. Just like your pal, Lou. You know the real beauty of that? When you're on leave, you're still Link's property. Can't do much of anything without our say-so. Shouldn't we be working? Instead of chatting. Oh, I am working, Curazon. This is my job. You, on the other hand, you better get to it. You too, Kaido. Hey, he said his name right. And you, 52. Let's get those ships stripped, people. Baby steps. I'm gonna try this again. Cause... I honestly don't think it's the worst idea in the world. I think this is a fairly effective way to do this. Because look at that. Now we're all fully decompressed. Honestly, pretty effective. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Come here. There we go. Oh, shit. Ghost ship's messing with our comms a bit. Helmet. Cool. That's neat. Now, Cutter, I was going to mention these. You see those weird nodes? Lynx doesn't want them. And they don't seem to respond to any method deactivation. You got two ways of dealing with them. One, you burn them up with your gun tool on the spot. Or two, you chuck them in the furnace. What's he talking about? Oh, these. Huh. It says destroy. The germination tool of the machine god. They emit an otherworldly hum and can only be destroyed by fire. Huh. Okay. That's weird. Didn't know we were playing Darkest Dungeon 3, right? Yeah, for real. This is spooky, dude. All hail the machine god. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
Yeah, it changes the music in here too. Oh, that's neat. I love the effect on the comms too. It's spooky as shit. Okay, apparently that just goes to the other side of this. It doesn't really help that much. Oh, but there's another one right there. There we go. Sweet. Come on. Come on. Get up and out of there. Into the frame. Oh, there must not be enough room. What is that? A oh, waste disposal unit. Oh, it's attached to this thing. I see. Well, we can just do this. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can find a rod in here somewhere. Let's flush these thrusters, too. Before we lose the ability to do so. Oh, we'll get the nacelle, too. Why not? Dude, this silence is creepy. Very unsettling. I feel like I'm waiting for a jump scare. Do do do. Get this other nacelle real quick. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. That would be interesting, wouldn't it, Velasco? Yeah, it'd keep you really on your toes. Um, I think we can go ahead and go shell again here. Let's let's do it. Yeah. Careful. Really missing the soundtrack now, Jesus. Sufficient spooks, though, certainly. I'm quite startled. Okay, this is all decompressed. Nice. Okay, right here. Sing a song for yourself. Oh, I'm out in space. Lovely place. But there's ghosts. Oh, no. Ghosts are going to get me if I don't destroy these nodes in the ship. There's nodes in the ship. And they're going to get me if I don't set them free. I got to go in and disconnect them from seats. I got to save the ship. Before it goes to shit. Oh, radiation, huh? Okay. Well, there's more. There's a lot. Look at these weird things on the monitors, too. There's another one. Yeah, there we go, Cutter. That's how it's done. Next one you see, just rinse and repeat. Yeah, I feel like we're all kind of in a similar mindset here of, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Not so sure about that one, Weaver. Definitely felt like it screamed, yeah. 
Maybe a little more going on here than meets the eye. Cyril Lettish! Thank you very much for the 24 months on the pile. Welcome back in. Thank you for the resubscription. Appreciate it. Bear hugs for him. This is already removed. Nice. The machine gun. The machine god doesn't like it when its children are murdered. Apparently, yeah, that's uh, that's good to know. Hmm. Oh, here we go. That's the stuff. Okay. I'm gonna get this coolant and this light. There we go. Just put those together and then we're gonna go ahead and get that shell into the processor. Nice and easy. There we go. Those screams are the crew members, you think? I'm willing to believe that. There's a little more mysticism to the endeavor. In you go. There's the other tank. In you go. Some of these lights are blue, right? I'm not, I'm not crazy. What's going on with that? Like, I could have sworn that one we just got was blue. This is blue for sure. Look at this. Not blue at all. Oh, maybe I am just crazy. Oh, boy. Do -do -do. Okay, that is... That can be separated if we do this. Just let that get a little bit of distance from the cockpit. I think. Oh, that's not working, is it? I gotta figure that out. Not a light. Oh, shit. Okay, this one's good to go. Get that out of there. This one's good to go. Get that out of there. Oh, hang on. Do we have something here? Yeah, hold on. Damn it. I bet I can cut this real quick. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, no, stop, 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 shit. Can't do that. Can't do that. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. No, don't go in. Ugh. Save it. Oh my god, no! Don't suck! No suck! No suck! Ah, where did it go now? It's all the way on the other side! It flew away! Where'd it go? Okay, you're, you're here. We're still good. We can still work in this space. Because we gotta get this off of here. Very important. There we go. There we go. Suck and right, yep. Okay, and then we probably want to go ahead and slice this thing off here too. All right, Lou, I'm underneath the barge. What's our secret union plan? It's safe to tell me now. Lou, Lou, are you there? Lou. And then we find out she's gone forever. No. Not Lou. Oh, it's literally just this tiny thing, isn't it? Not worth it at all. <laughs> oh, well. We did it. That'll work, right? 
Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably fine. In you go. Nice. Good stuff. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transfer. Okay. Back to the cuts. Not the most efficient day one here, but we got a lot of good things done still. Learning a little more about the ghost ship here. We can probably just keep working on shell cuts till the end. Get back up here. Let's go ahead and separate this radiation containment unit. Now that I think about it, we should probably just go ahead and start like this on these things. Probably save us a little hassle. Okay. I think we'll have a good second shift here. Still got a little bit of cash. No salvage levels yet. Bear, please, I need my space banjo. I know, I'm missing it too, man. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Hey, folks. I, uh, well, I don't rightly know what to say. I should have seen Oh, he took car. it. It took Buell. We ain't nothing but Did I not finish it fast enough? I swear, if I could get with it. I think maybe it was on a timer. Bastard. Well, listen. This is what I want to talk about. Remember what Lou was saying about industrial action? Weaver. Now, I don't pretend to know what it accomplished, per se. But I do know it'd make him hurt. Weaver. Heck. I know it'll piss Hal off. That alone's worth the price of admission. Weaver. Kai. Hal's standing I'm right sorry. behind you. I'm so, so sorry. Everyone, I... It was so scary. You seen him? Kai. Oh, what'd you do, yeah. Kai? I... I... I Kai. I gave him access to the Union News Group. This is because of you? I, I didn't know Lou was going to send that message. What do you think was going to happen, Kai? Oh, Kaido. How could you do that? God damn it. I should have seen this coming. I'm so sorry. Well, kid, sorry's about it. I'm going to get a bear stretch in here. Paper bag for a helmet. <sighs> well, folks, my old man taught me to know when the hands need a fold. Don't even know why I thought we could play this game. Play by the rules tomorrow, and the next day, and every day thereafter. Great speech, Weaver. Maybe in time, they'll give us some of our humanity back. Weaver out. Oh, God. Ugh. Well, that's disappointing. Good morning, shipbreaker. Your theta wave levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Oh, I'm all out. Yeah, I think the helmet is another one of these data drives, right? Hi, don't worry. Patient I'm missing. I think this comes from the helmet we found. Is ghost ship. Oh yeah. Oh, look at all this. Lost. I'm sorry, but I had to go. You and Graham always told me to look out for the underdog. Well, in this case, the underdog is our stars. I can't sit back and watch as humans pillage and plunder the way through the solar system as they spread like a cancer. They must be stopped. We must be stopped. I can't tell you where I'm going. And I can't tell you how long I'll be gone. 
but I can tell you that I am on my way to find him. To find her. To find it. The, the machine, machine god. god. And when I do, I will beg them to have mercy upon your soul. Please send money. Love your son. And the lions for Jurassicum. A self-pollinating flowering plant. Self-propagating. Self-fertile. Cloning. Dispersing. Here are the seeds. Mature. Yellow to white. Sailing. Carrying on the wind. Alighting then embedding. Germinating then encrypting. Flourishing. And endified. Joining and ever reaching. Out. Out. Nurturing our shoots. This is good voice work, isn't it? Yeah, I, I did want to mention that. I've been very impressed with the with the VO in the entire game. Every character has been pretty impressive. Okay. Back to it. Still got rods on here, I think. Wow. Happy morning, folks. Saw some sloppiness yesterday, but I let it slide. Hope I don't see more today. Oh, that's processor? Sweet. Well, aren't you all a quiet bunch? I like this. Weaver, you're unmuted, by the way. I like this. Thank you, Hal. I'm aware. Give him the silent treatment. No sage words of wisdom for the team? They know what they're doing. You know, Curazon, if you hit those quotas, I might see about giving your comms privileges back. But once a week only, of course. I'd like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, need to see those results first. Of course. Well, heck, folks. You're really taking this job seriously. I love to see it. Sounds like it. Remember what we say, Kai? Avoiding chatter makes profits. What? <sighs> it makes profits better, right? <laughs> right. Well,. I like this. Uh, My little group of busy bees. No fuss, just salvage. Uh, keep it up. How out. All right, we gotta cut it. I keep forgetting. Yeah, I'm enjoying this arc. What's so interesting is like, it really feels like this How character. Like he's not, I don't, I don't think he's, I don't think he thinks he's an asshole. I think he thinks he's doing what he has to do and he's still trying to like be friends with these people. Like that's the, the, the way he's communicating today. It sounds like a, a guy who genuinely believes that he has the ability still to maintain a positive relationship with these employees. That's what makes him so interesting to me. Okay. I'm trying to remember... We still got a reactor here, right? We flushed the thrusters. So we're still... We should still just keep working on Shell, I think. It's well written, well voice acted. That's all been very impressive stuff. It's certainly not anything that I expected to uh, get invested in really here. Okay, music is starting here, which is upsetting. I don't like it. I don't like it. Where's the ghosts? Are the ghosts showing up? Are they going to surround me in the yard? Eep? Eep, I say? I say, I say, eep? The ghosts are in the shell, obviously. I mean, okay, yeah, fair enough. Hey, yo. 
In you go. In you go. Another radiation containment unit. Hey yo! That works, I guess. I'm looking forward to finding out what happens if you accidentally laser the radiation filter. I can't imagine that's going to be a good thing. Do, 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 do. All right, same situation here, I guess. I'm a little nervous about cutting out this frame, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. Feels like they probably wouldn't put anything above the radiation containment unit. What's the worst that could happen? Exactly. Oh, that did not disconnect this, did it? No, it did not. Why not? Is it this one? No, it is not. Is it this one? Perhaps? No. Hmm, that's weird. Why is this not separated? Oh, because there's a structural chair on it. They actually did put something above it. There we go. <laughs> so silly, man. That does give us great access to this area, though. That's pretty convenient. Who's the sucker that gets the radiation seat, right? Yeah. <laughs> Those are the cheap seats. I got the filter out already. Yeah, it's just the it's just the access panel in there now. We're good. We're good. We're good. This part is tingly, right? <laughs> These fucking sounds in this place, man. My god. Super unsettling. Got two cuts there, actually. Nice. Okay. We got an aluminum panel here again. I might be able to try that new uh, method. Free seat warmer. Mm-hmm. I think I got much issue with just continuing to remove the uh, shell here. Get this other nacelle out as well. I think there was one more nacelle somewhere. If I remember right. Oh, there it is. Right next to it. Take care of that as well. There was some stupid part of my brain the other day that decided I needed to come up with a joke with Nacelle as the punchline. And the best I could come up with is, you gonna call me on my home phone? Nah, cell. That's it, it's not even a joke. It's mostly just like a conversation. I know, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not here for the comedy. I'm here for the ship gun. I recognize where my strengths are. <laughs> You're not allowed to boo me until you can come up with a better one, though, is the thing. That's that seems that seems fair. Actually, I think I might. I, I'll allow you to boo me if you can come up with a worse one, even more so. So I say to the guy, "That's not an engine to sell. That's my wife." Okay, that's that's even worse. Yeah, you know what? You're free to boo. You've earned your booing rights. 
Now they're saying boo air. You used to call me on a cell phone. Okay, that's... I, I don't mind that. That's okay. That's acceptable. I feel like we're gonna go, all, like, all cell phone jokes for the most part. I don't know, I don't know really where else to take it. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of nacelle. Okay, that there we go. Now we're getting creative. Now we're having fun with it. Really mixing it up. She sells nacelles on the seashore. All right, yeah. I'll give you. I'll give you half points. I'll let you have that one. Okay, hold on. We're going to get... Is this disconnected? Where do you put a criminal horse in a nice cell? Where do you put a criminal horse in a nice cell? That is... I need to know what the horse did. What crime are we finding the horse guilty of? Because I feel like there's another joke in there. We just have to find it. Tax evasion? Well, I do like that. That's just standalone high quality stuff. Stealing other horses. Okay, now we're onto like a full storyline. Just general horseplay? Okay. Give that half points again. Is this not disconnected? What are you attached to? Are you just caught? I think it's caught. I think it's just stuck right here. Here, let's just disconnect it on this. That ought to set it going. There we are. We'll just grab this one out of here. Oh, we got a light on that thing, too. The thrusters are just flying around again. Criminal negligence. Oh, we found it. Well done. Well done. That's full points right there. Good job. Okay, don't forget. Keep the power attached for now. Still gotta work with that. Velasco, an appropriate gifted sub. Yes, no, deserving. <laughs> if we work together, we can do comedy. I'm going to test this. That did not work. Huh. I mean, I can still do this at least. Come here. And over you go. Alright, good enough. Into this processor. Take the thermal spreaders off of here. Grab this guy. I just go ahead and grab the thrusters while I'm at it. Returned. Beno Hawk! I think it was 64 months. Long term sub. Welcome back. Get some more bear hugs for him, please, if you got him. Appreciate it. Oh, that is not what I thought it was. That ain't gonna work. How many AI nodes are still in this ship? Several. I haven't really done anything about them, to be honest. Just sort of ignored them. 
I want to salvage them just to see what happens. I'm probably going to try to do that with one of them at least. And I'm sure it's having no adverse effect to just leave it sitting there, right? Of course not. Okay, let's go ahead and clear out a path. Why are you still like shut? You got about a minute left, Cutter. One minute remaining. I guess I could have saved that door, huh? But what the fuck? Is that the AI fucking with me? Trying to shut the door, split me in half? It's pretty messed up, dude. I trusted you. Okay. This needs to be sliced off along with these guys. I did murder one of them. I guess, yeah, it's... And it is an, an acceptable level of retaliation. Oh, our shift is over. Shit. We got aluminum to figure... Or we got a lot of aluminum to figure out there, too, so this is going to be an interesting one. Seven mil, not bad. Still got a ton of this one left. Good start. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Thanks. You know, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get right to it. I didn't find the rods I need, right? Yeah, still looking for those. All right, let's do it. Make some money today. Wow. Robert report's looking good, folks. I think things are really turning around here. Joseph, when I leave, eventually, what are you going to change to keep profits up like this? When are you leaving? <laughs> when this team gets its respect for the company back. <laughs> which, at this rate, seems like never. So, what do you say, Joseph? Okay. Well, truth be told, I don't think I could ever do what you do. How? Huh. Well, that's your problem right there. Mm, maybe. <laughs> Oh, this is free. Didn't expect that. Well, let's send it off. Keel to the processor. R rid us of the spine. Send it home. Yeah, right there. There we go. That ought to do it. Nope. Never mind. Shit. Give it a little shove. Give it a little push in there. Give it a little push over there. A little, little shove in. A little shove in there. A little shove. Oh! Brakes! Grab the anchor. Pull away. There we go. Yikes. Okay. There we go. We got it. Now we are going to... Oh, apparently that's just disconnected. That's convenient. And this is ready to go as well. Here we go. Take that. That is probably not... No, yeah, that's not going to be good. Actually, that might work. It might be okay. We're going to go ahead and get this out of the way. In you go. Oh boy, oh boy, hang on. Get over there. And then once you come by me, give it a nice big shot. In you go. I had an aluminum panel apparently, that's okay though. NBD. This is also processor, so it's just dragging it along, that works. 
In you go. Nice. This is going well. And boop. Sweet. All right, let's get these tanks off before this thing floats into the furnace. Cutter, you gotta deal with them nodes. Burn them up or chuck them in the furnace. He's trying to remind me. I don't know if I'm gonna listen is the thing. I'm feeling like I might not listen to old Weaver about this one. I'm feeling like I might take it into my own hands here. I like this play we made last time for the reactor. Yeah, I think this will be the best way to handle this. And then of course we can remove this mounting plate by taking off the frame. I'll make things easier too. Oops. There we go. Okay. I can't remember if removing the cap starts the meltdown, the mounting plate. I don't think it does, but even if it does, it's not a big deal. Because we can easily get it out into the barge from here. So that should separate this. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're fine. You may have nodes on your reactor. Oh, yeah, huh, okay. Looks like this shows them. I don't think we've got one there. I think we're good. This processor's, or this pipe's ready for the processor. Oh shit. You come over here. I'll go ahead and give you a few. We got a, a similar situation with this guy. Let's go like this. That'll probably work. One more. Two more. There we go. Avoid the big suck. I hope. I ought to give it a little more momentum that way. I think we're good. Yeah, looking good. Doo -doo -doo. Tethers, fuel, off we go. I feel like I haven't had to buy O2 in a while, which has been really nice. I think the upgrades have been helping us out a lot there. Okay, time to clear the ECU and let's get this reactor out of here. This is closed? Why is this closed? Pretty sure I could just pop it open. Destroyed a light, god damn it. You just open these, right? Yeah. <laughs> he even gave me a thumbs up on it. Like, yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Got it sorted. The machine god closed it. Oh, yeah, probably, huh? Didn't even think about it. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he does. He just randomly shuts doors on this ship. That's cute. Like it. Oh, there's our rod. Yeah, nice. Okay, here we go. Let's 
Let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Here we go. Nice. Love it. Goodbye, fuel pipe. Yay. Oh god, I don't know why I freaked out there for a second. No, that's we're good. We're good on that one. Now I do need to disconnect this from here. Really? Okay, whatever. If you say so. Ba boom. Sweet. Okay. Ah, spookiest thing the ghost ship has done so far is randomly shut doors on us. Hasn't really been all that much, or hasn't really been much else going on as far as I can tell. Speaking of which. Well, let's go ahead and disable the power now. That'll probably help us out. Oops. Imagine it doing that while the ship is pressurized. That does seem to be like one of the things that it's designed to fuck with. Which is certainly scary. Carter, you're looking at roughly five minutes left in this shift. Keep on at it. Weaver out. Here we go. No more shutting doors for you, even though you literally just did one as I said that. It's still going to be able to do it. Okay. Oh, nice. That works. Okay. Yeah, we actually can't open the doors ourselves anymore, can we? <laughs> this motherfucker. Now what do I do? I gotta fucking demo charge this thing? I mean, I guess we don't necessarily need to worry about it. Let's just fly around. Got a lot of the... Aluminum panels with the... Perforated edges. So we've got our access to the barge already here, thankfully. I'm gonna need a lot of help with that. Carter, Lynx ain't gonna take that node. You gotta burn it up, toss it in the furnace. Oh, they don't even take it when it's in the barge, okay. I see. Well, let's go burn it up, I guess. Oh, it's on the fuel tank. Holy shit. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, there's two of them here. Jesus. Ooh. Okay. Now this one, just some real delicate surgery here. Okay, whoo! So it doesn't actually take the fuel tank until you get rid of the nodes, that's interesting. Okay, oh boy. Oh, 
All right, doesn't look like there's any others. Guess we're good. I gotta destroy the rest. Cause I know there's one up here. One more in the back corner, they say. Is that one? What's this? Oh, dampener, nice. I want a rod! Hey! Alright. Hooray! In the barge, right, thank you. Oh, I see it. Right? Oh, is that not it? That's not it. Where is it? Back of the barge. That's one minute left, Cutter. You're in the middle of something. Oh, there it is. I see. It's now on time to skedaddle. Yeah, I see. Yup. Sorry, those are upsetting noises. My goodness. Okay. There's one right there, too. Cutter, seems like the AI's gone all haywire in here. Wreaking havoc in all the ship's systems. All right. Keep your nose down, your eyes up. Okay. I don't know what your idea of wreaking havoc is. Seems fairly tame. 13.3! Really good day. That makes me think we might be able to get the rest in the next shift. That'd be nice. Okay. Good stuff. Nearly rank 19. It did try to kill me with a door. Yeah, that's a fair point. Cutter 9346-52. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. Thanks. Hey, yeah, I think we're saving our tokens here. Back to it. Oh, I forgot to use the rods we got. But I guess the ship's not even there, so I can't do it anymore. There's my team. Hope you're all rested and ready. Let's push our output even higher today. Identify, quantify, solidify. <laughs> yes, sir. Just make that up. Good man, Kaido. Seeing some real progress with you, bud. Thank you. You too, 52. Nice work out there. Now, <laughs> someone who's been at this for so long, I expect more from you. Oh, you do, huh? Why don't you come on down and give me some pointers in person? Nice. Um, how about you can the attitude and do your job? Uh, come again? Nothing, sir. Got him. All right, time to make some big money. Time to make some real big money. As it opens and shuts the doors on us repeatedly. Whoops. Uh, I might get in there anyway. Yeah, I think we're good. Give me that. Give me that. This thing does not like open doors, I can tell you that much. I can tell you that with confidence. Pretty effective way to do this. Nice. Rank seven, beautiful. It's Tagalog. Oh, cool. Go stupid or ignorant. Yeah, that makes sense.
Cool. This is very efficient here. Is this free? No, this is just cut a little bit. Although I think this chairs might actually be the thing that's holding this in place. Oh, it opened the door. Open the doors again. It's a miracle. Oh fuck! Oh my god, this thing went flying. Come back! No! Come here! Don't go! I need you. Where'd he go? Chairs. You disappeared. What the fuck? Ah! Uh, go back! Go back! Oh my god! I think this got ghosted. Yeah, I think it's a ghost chair now. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now it's back. That was weird. Fair enough. I gotta get these bottles. Hold on. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna sit right here. Get all these chairs out. Yeah, come on. Come on. There you go. Always love clearing out these middle bits. It's very satisfying. Piling up the gold. The gold. Yeah, real old school with the economy in this place. Eh, you never know, right? Gold's probably still worth something. In the year 2552 or whatever the fuck it is. Give me that. Give me that. That nearly an entire salvage level just from the stuff in the middle here. Still gotta get the ECU. Oh look, got another one of these convenient things. Isn't gold used for circuitry sometimes? I'm pretty sure you're right about that. Yeah. So that means my theory checks out. Yay. We both win. Yo. There we go. Easy peasy. I just want to cut this for fun. It's just enjoyable. In you go. Okay, cool. That is the majority of the interior. Some more stuff in here, actually. I just want to cut this floor, but I guess we could probably just go ahead and do it this way. Yeah, I think this will be a, an easier process. Let me go like this. Yeah, that machine guy's getting pretty pissed at us. <laughs> He's like, no more. You've had enough. I'll tell you when I've had enough, god damn it, machine god. Machine god damn it. Oh, you know what? I'm doing this again, absolutely. Easy access to the PCs. Give me that. Really? Oh, it's these fucking things. 
course. There you go. Structural computers, naturally, of course. What else would you expect? Okay. Is there just one more seat? I think that might be it. We got that light there too. We still have to get the cockpit. I really wanna I wanna try to separate this like this. I think I might need one more. So I'm pretty sure I can drag this off of here. There we go, that's the stuff. And now that that's separated, we can go ahead and send it into the processor. There you go, buddy. Taken care of. And off we go for the cockpit. Nice. Just thought of what would happen if we send the AI into the processor. Oh, there's an interesting thought. Might be worth a test. I think we're out of nodes on this ship, unfortunately, so not this time, but maybe next next ghost ship. Oops. Don't forget the handles. Don't forget them fancy ass handles, dude. Alright, there's that. Oh, we didn't even get the fuses, did we? Oh, never mind, that's just the housing. Alright, I think we're done. Pretty sure there's not much left on the ship. Oh, never mind. Lots of stuff in there. Plus these things. If they're still messing with the doors, there's at least one left. Okay, okay. Do -do -do. Oh, this is a radiation containment unit, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. That is incorrect. There's a light in there. Oh, never mind. You just gotta get back in that room. Cutter, shift clock says five minutes left. You know what to do. We no run. more doors for you. You don't get to play with these anymore. You lost your privileges. Watch him just spawn a new door and shut it. That'd be hilarious. There we go, another air filter taken care of. Down you go. Okay. Salvage. Salvage. I think that's about it. Take away his toys again. Goodbye. All right, yep, that's all clear. Except for this thing. Another of those, very good. Nearing rank nine. Okay. I think we are good to start shipping this shit into the furnace. Of course, it's going to be needing uh, a little bit of separation here. I don't know exactly where I'm going to do that. Hmm. Yeah, this all being, being one big chunk is certainly not very helpful. This is something I've done in the past. Might be helpful here. Straight up, just cut off the cockpit. I 
This is probably not a good idea. We did manage to do this, though. <laughs> yeah, that's not very helpful, is it? Oh, this is still attached, too, huh? Jesus. How on earth is this attached? Yeah, thank you, KG. Appreciate it. Oh, it's this. I guess I could have just destroyed this frame. Would have probably done it. Yeah, seems like it. Oh, well. Off you go. Well, that did very little. Welcome. KG6TZQ51. Welcome to the bear pile. Thanks for the sub. Give me some bear hugs, please. Welcome the new member in. Appreciate it. Pretty sure this isn't going to do anything. Yeah, I think we might just have to leave this one behind, unfortunately, because there's just no efficient way of slicing this thing into pieces right now. Maybe if we just do all of the tethers. Worth a shot. You never know. Oh, a demo charge could do it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Left yeah, that is just not moving. Turn. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do some demos. Might as well, right? Yeah. F it, dude. Can you do it more than one at a time? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, that's a very small explosion. Wow. Oh, I'm out of demo charges. That would certainly explain it. Well, that's interesting that it works like that. Okay. Maybe we can split this thing. Yeah, a little late anyway. Still didn't even get the split here. I think we were close. I think that might have done it. Yeah, not worth another shift here, unfortunately. Very nearly got that last rank, but we got most of the re reward out of here, so we'll take it. We'll take it. Not too shabby. Well, the demo charges we are intentionally upgrading to make the explosion smaller and smaller in order to make it more controlled. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. Anyway. Yeah, I think that'll probably wrap it up for today. Very interesting things going on in the in the Shipbreaker universe, man. Managed to get that dead under a billion. That feels pretty good. Plenty more to do, though. Plenty more ships to break. That was fun. Fun four hours of hard space. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out on the stream today, y'all. Uh, feel free to stick around for a bit here. We're actually going to do something fun, but if you're just here for the Shipbreaker, no worries. If you missed any part of it today, feel free to catch the VODs over on YouTube.com slash BearTaffy. 